You're, You're watching Most TV. Now, when we talk about men, we know personally, we came up with some different ideas of, about what masculinity is. On the real man side, where we looked at images of famous men, we have shot nine times, mixed messages being sent through their um, music, um, memorable, iconic, and concrete views and beliefs. And on the strongest man side, where we looked at men we knew personally, we had confident leadership, um, teaching life lessons and overcoming struggles and self-motivation, uh, humility, intelligence, um, a natural servant, and, and being respectful. So my question to you fellas is, why do you think that society believes in the stereotype of what the real man is versus the qualities we respect in strong men in our own lives? Uh. Well, I think I think they believe in what they see the most. Like if you don't see a, a caring, loving man like every day in your life or even in your community, and that's not what you consider a man. If you see a violent, dominant, like aggressive man every day in your community or even in your household, then that's what you're gonna consider as a man. You're not gonna just have this abstract view of a man. You're gonna go by what you see. And if that same person who's seen that goes out into a school, into a high school and tells his friend who doesn't have a father in his house what the person he considers a man to be, like what's the qualities of that person, and it's just going to trickle down. It's ultimately going to be a, a, a cycle of just word of mouth of that guy's a man, act like that guy, and you'll be a man too. So, mm. Kendall. Yeah, that's, it's just, that's exactly what I was going to say. It's who you see. When you turn on the TV, you see music videos, you see guys throwing money around, Mm. With girls all around, that's who people see every day. That's who they're going to try to re at, live their life after. Mm. That's who they want to be. And so when you don't have a father growing up with you to teach you what a real man is, that's who you're going to follow. John? You know you a real man if you if you, you in 2009 and you balling like it's 2010. Mm. But everything that... <laughs> it, but everything that glitter ain't gold, you know, that's just like TV life, you know. It's not like the real life, the street the street stuff, you know, is going down in, in people's real life and all that. I, I, I personally think it's just not just what you see, but how you feel. You know, sometimes we, we feel like we have to present ourselves in a certain way. You know, not necessarily, but you can, you can see someone, you can see a man smack a woman in the face, and you can have an idea of that's wrong, you can have an idea of that's, that's, what, that's, how you're supposed to, that's how you're supposed to act, that's how you're supposed to do. But it depends on what you see every day, though. That's so. true, that's true. But, I mean, any, any street can go two different ways. That's true, but if you grow up where all you see is somebody slapping somebody in the face, you don't know the other side of what a real man is supposed to be. You only see that one thing every day. Not if you're optimistic. If you, not if you're optimistic. If you see on, on television that, or, or, or you, your, your, favorite, um, your favorite rap artist, let's say your favorite rap artist says it's wrong to, um, to hurt women, it's wrong to um, 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 sexually abuse women and things like that, and you see um, in, in your life that that's all you see, you can, it's up to you to then make the determination of is it wrong or is it right? At the end of the day, is what you, con is what you believe in, not necessarily always what you see. I think uh, it's not, like, the way we live our life, it's not always, like, what you believe in. Like, you can't live your, your whole day by just stuff you believe in or, like, the world will be, like, straight chaos. Because, like, like it's, a, it's, a, it's a universal rule for men not to cry. So if, if like if something affects you to the point where you want to show that emotion, like you want to cry, and you like around, you're in a crowd, you're not gonna bust out crying in the crowd. You're gonna find the nearest <laughs> bathroom, get your get your tears out, <laughs> clean your face up, walk out like nothing happened. And everybody knows that it's an unwritten it's a it's an unwritten man law. But you don't ha you don't have to say that. You don't have to like say don't cry. But again, you you have to have another avenue of expressing your feelings because if you hold in that cry one time it might be holding holding in a sorry another time or mm. holding in a I love you another time mm. and then when you're holding that in what else are you giving out but negativity so mm. if you if you have another way of expressing yourself then that's another way of being a of being a strong man overall mm. so let's break this down 
Most club challenges us to answer the question, what does it mean to be a strong man without being violent? Now looking at the list, which man, the realest or the strongest is more likely to commit violence and why? Kendall? The strongest man is least likely to commit violence because they have nat they have they are intelligent and so when you're intelligent you like you have the intelligence <laughs> not to do stupid things. Not saying that the real man doesn't have intelligence, but the real man is more likely to do dumber things. So like the real man, they have concrete viewpoints and they'll do anything to protect those viewpoints and you're most likely to fight for no reason or shoot people for no reason. So. Mm. In the terms of, of the strongest man, uh, I think the only instance where he would commit violence if it was on behalf or in protection of his family. But like the realest man, the way society portrays the realest man, he has to commit violence on a regular basis. It doesn't have to be like any reason or any like, it doesn't have to be projected towards anything. He just can be a violent person. Like, like the example of 50 Cent, like in his videos, it's not portrayed, it's not directed to anybody, but he just has this violent demeanor about him. Like, why are you mad? It's, <laughs> it's no reason for you to be mad in your video when you're a millionaire, but you're just like angry. You got the bulletproof vest. Like, who's gonna shoot you on the set of your video? <laughs> I mean, if you if you're around dudes, that's like that's gonna shoot you on your own video set, and that's the that's the wrong people to be hanging out with. Like, if you don't if you don't feel comfortable, if you're not protected around your own people, then then hey, that's a problem that you need to address with them. But yeah, like some people are just violent just because mm -hmm. they think it's cool, but it's it's always a different way to express yourself. The real man has more to prove, you know? Like, mm -hmm. simple stuff like his friends might push him into stuff and he's gonna be forced into uh, doing whatever, situ whatever he's in, like what type of situation he's in. Like he, he's pressured into doing it because like, if he backs off, he's gonna look like, yeah, he's gonna look weak. So you don't wanna do that if you're mm -hmm. in the realer category. Mm -hmm. I think that, uh, I think that the, the realest man is more likely to commit violence because he sends those mixed messages of, uh, on one minute you gotta be this, but then next minute you gotta make a, a, 80 de a 180 degree turn and do this. And I think that not only does that, you know, commit you know, concrete violence, physical violence, but I think it, it, it also commits abstract violence and, and messing up with, with emotions and mindsets and things like that. Uh, I, th I agree with everybody, what everybody said, but I think the, the realest man is, uh, is putting a facade forward that he has to, he has to constantly support because if somebody sees him without that mask on, then all his status, all his power, all his, all his money, all his women is gone because they, fi they find out in actuality that you're not the person who you say you were. You're not that big shot who had all the ladies and all the cars. And like, it's really no reason why you should be getting our attention because you were just faking for society and try to live up to standards that like honestly no one can achieve. So the, the realest man, like if he's pushed into a corner, his only option is violence. But the stronger man, the, the strong man, he has those, those values, those beliefs, to fall back on or to like refer to in like situations, tumultuous situations where he might have to like sit back and think a little bit, but that's not the, that's not the case for the, for the real man, the quote unquote real man. Mm. Okay. Well, we're going to have to wrap this up. At most club, we see the stereotype of masculinity is more about having power over people while the strongest man, men we all know, uses his strength to inspire us. Tell us what you think at www.menconstoprape.org or the Men of Strength Facebook page.